Have you used dating apps? If so, how did it go? I have used dating apps before. I've used Tinder and OkCupid. You know, I've met some cool people off of dating apps who've become friends, um, but in general, not the best space to meet people I've personally found, but hey, you know, different things work for different people. It might be awesome for someone else. It's difficult for me to talk about dating in general because I don't really have that much concrete experience. I went on like two dates in college that were both people I met through online dating and I think both of them just showed up because they felt bad when they found out I was disabled or they felt like they couldn't back out or something. So yeah, it was pretty disastrous. Not to mention that one of the guys had written like a poem for me about disabled people that was really creepy and weird, so, so I don't know what that was. I've used dating apps before. Um, I still have one open that I rarely check ever. Uh, and it went okay. Um, when I was able-bodied, um, I found a really wonderful relationship through a dating app. Um, and after disability, I, I did go on a couple dates, um, they were okay, <laughs> but it was definitely tricky trying to figure out whether or not to include my mobility aids in the photos of my dating app profile, and ultimately I decided that yes, I wanted to, but there is such a universal idea that disabled people are unattractive, so there definitely was a big change with how many people would swipe right versus swipe left. <laughs> yes, I have. You know, I've done the whole swipe right thing, swipe left thing. Um, hasn't everyone who's my age. <laughs> um, and generally, you know, it's been a pretty good experience. I mean, obviously there's going to be guys that are douchebags on all dating apps, you know, regardless of whether you're disabled or not. Um, in those cases, it's kind of just like, yep, I match, we're not compatible, see you later, bye bye. Um, and it, to be honest, it hasn't really been over my disability, anyways. It's just been the type of people that I would want to be associated with in that manner. Um, so yeah, generally, it's been it's been it's been a okay. In dating, when do you think is an appropriate time to discuss your disability? It's hard. I think that different times are different like different times are appropriate for different people. For me personally, because I, for the most part, can pass as able-bodied, like if I'm wearing braces, people kind of think that I'm wearing knee braces for sports, so usually I pass as able-bodied. Um, I have to let people know fairly early, just because if I don't, then they won't know why perhaps I'm being such a flake, or they might mistake um, my illness for disinterest and they'll be like, well, why haven't I seen this girl in a week, you know? Um, but my illness just, in, my illness affects me so much to the point where I can't not let people know that I'm sick, um, which sucks, but <laughs> it sucks and it can make for some awkward first date conversations, but I feel like within the first couple dates, I have to be honest, so if they aren't fond of that, then they can they can look elsewhere. It's not gonna be my favorite topic to talk about, but yeah, I'm sure that the first time we meet, there's probably gonna be questions about um, my limits and stuff. There might be a lot of questions because, like I said, with no representation, people are very confused, sometimes scared, sometimes they assume that disabled people are like humans that are just worth pitying just because they're disabled. Uh, there's a lot of really strange attitudes, so there might be a lot of questions, and no, they're not my favorite thing to answer. But if we establish a genuine connection, and I don't feel like this person is objectifying me with these questions, they're just genuinely curious about me and about my experience then I don't mind talking about it as soon as possible. But just not the first thing. Like, at least get my name. At least talk to me for a little bit before you dive into the pool of disability questions. Um, 
Okay, so for me, my disability is usually pretty visible. Um, you know, when I walk, I walk with a limp. And, you know, when I'm not walking, I'm in a wheelchair, usually. Um, so unless, you know, I meet this person for the first time sitting down, you know, not really doing much, then they're going to know I have a disability. And nearly everyone that I've dated so far has known me prior, you know, we've been friends prior, so they've, I've known them from school or whatever, so they've known I've been disabled. Um, so it hasn't really been something I've had to bring up. I mean, over time, you know, there's been changes in the relationship and I've been like, you know, hey, can you do this for me? Or, hey, you know what, my disability affects me like this, so maybe this is something we should talk about. Um, but really, yeah, I think whenever you're comfortable is a good time to bring it up, really. And sometimes it's just going to come up naturally, you know, they're going to figure it out or, you know, you're going to do something and it's going to be a challenge for you and they're going to be like, oh, what's happening there? So, for me, it's not really something I stress about, you know, disability, like Annie said in one of her videos, is a really great filter. If they can't deal with disability, then they're not going to be able to deal with some of the more challenging things, I think, further on down the line. And it's not really someone I want to be associated with, so, yeah.